you too. I'm back on another video, man. And honestly, I've come to the conclusion that this may be one of the worst 2Ks I've ever played uh, from the start. You know, from the shooting, stuff like that. Everybody not being able to shoot. And, you know, the interior defense is horrible. So, I've realized something. Seven threes, you know, may be the way for park and stuff like that. Maybe. And when I mean by park, I mean twos. I don't mean like threes or a stage or anything like that. I think seven threes are the wave, but to get the best, you know, of both worlds, I would say we may have to, you know, make a new paint beast build. And, that, and that's what this video is. You clicked on the video, you click to find the best paint beast build. And I think I just found it out. So, yeah, I'm going to show y'all this build, man. I know I do pretty good with build videos. I give y'all, you know, really good information and stuff like that. So, you know, smash that like button for me, man. We're partnering over here in this channel. We're going to start a family, Rose Gang. May come up with a better name. Sounds kind of corny, but... You know, that's what I got for now. You know, I got an emote on Twitch called Rose Gang. So, that's what I got for now. Uh, we'll come up with something better over time, I guess. But we're building a family over here. You know, I want to take y'all with me. I want to, you know, be able to play the game with y'all. If y'all need any advice, you know, help y'all out and stuff like that. But, yeah, smash that like button for me. Share my videos. All of it helps. Uh, subscribe. Turn on them noties, man. Be part of Rose Gang, like I said. And, yeah, man. You know, I'm good with build videos. So, you click this, this video. You want to know the best paint beast build because that's all we running. Shooting centers are a no-go. And seven threes that can't catch lives are a no-go. So, yeah, man. I got you all this video. If you hit that like button in the next five seconds, running 2K is going to take away all your players, man. I wouldn't risk it. I said f school, probably cause I made more than my teachers I ain't learn a single lesson, come on baby I can teach you I'm a high fool, mama said I'm smoking too much reefer Hit the plug and then I re-up, used to flip kicks up at recess Alright, so I already know I made two paint beast builds, right? Two paint beast builds, they were in a prelude And they were small forwards I think one was a power forward if I remember Um, and One was a small forward, so we're gonna go power for uh number doesn't matter it's up to you hand doesn't matter up to you i believe i've come to a realization that you know paint defense is kind of sus and if you have a slasher in this game you will succeed so yeah with that being said we need low-key kind of taller paint beast not six eight you don't really want to go six ten i think the best is six nine but it's how you make the six nine a lot of centers did not make they center with strength. So I'm going to solve that for y'all right now, man. Solve that for you right now. I picked the red and the blue pie chart. If you didn't see me, because I was talking red and blue. A lot of people probably picked the first physical. Maybe even went balanced or, you know, something like that for the pure red. For the blue and red, I'm going to pick the strength and the speed pie chart. Because vertical... Is a 60, and if we talking about a 60 vertical on a 6'9 center, you're going to be able to jump. Not to mention the plus four and all that with the Gatorade and stuff like that. You're going to be able to jump. You're going to be able to get boards. Strength in this game is obviously more important to help you set screens better, and you're still going to have that speed. So I'm telling y'all, Pick the speed and the strength pie chart. You want to pick that. You want to max out the standing dunk, the driving dunk. Get the close shot to 84 and max out the driving layup. I get my free throw to 65. Uh, I think that's good enough. You should be able to make your free throws with a 65 free throw. Um, yeah, I would get all the way till I get a 66. So, or 65, my bad. Well, no, 64. So, we want to go 64. We want gold. Um, quick first step. And we want um, gold break starter. So if I have to come back, if I have extra, I'll come back. So we want to go max rebound and obviously max block, max interior, perimeter, perimeter, out. So we got two left. We can get one more playmaking badge. So we're looking at 21, 1, 7, and 23, man. 23. Our defense is max. So we got basically max finishing. Only thing we can't do is post hooks. We can shoot free throws. We get the pass accuracy so we can get those break starter passes and we can pass in the half court and stuff like that. And we get, you know, max defense. So that's what we want. We're looking at, I think it's 52 badge points. So 50 plus badge points on a paint beast build. Uh, you know, we can run around the court like demons because we got the speed. Now, the body type is up to you. You can go burly built, uh, defined. 
I guess I'll just go built. So I was talking about doing the 610. I'll have to adjust my weight and stuff to get driving contact dunks for the 610 and my arm length and stuff like that. And it drops my speed minus three only for, you know, a plus one in the strength category. And I don't think that's worth it. The strength stays the same on the 68, but the interior defense on the 68 is so bad. I am telling y'all, man, I didn't think it was going to be like this, but the interior defense on the 68 is horrible. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that 68 stuff. I'm telling y'all 69 for what y'all get. I know the speed is ridiculous. You can get like a, a hitty plus speed, a 90 plus strength. Like I know the speed is ridiculous, but it's not really worth it if the center is getting the ball and he's just gonna score on me every time. He's gonna dunk on me. Like I don't think it's really worth it uh, doing that. So I'm telling y'all, go six nine for the weight. I would go until the the speed drops below a 70 so 245 right we're looking at a 89 strength before i do the arms uh and we got the 80 interior right so 80 interior defense that's obviously going to go up uh driving dunk drop once but you know it's not that big of a deal because when we max out our wingspan we're looking at a 90 driving dunk a 95 standing dunk our close shot goes up our rebounding goes up don't know why interior doesn't go up with max wingspan in this game it makes no sense but obviously the longer your arms the better you can play defense in the paint so we have max wingspan we have a 90 block 88 rebounding all around like our still goes up our strength is still at an 85 right so i'm solving the problem with everybody getting dunked on and scored on in the paint man because it's getting ridiculous like the two centers i play with they all get scored on in the paint and i'm tired of seeing it so if, if they watch this, you know, video, make a new build, man. I'm telling y'all, this is the best version of the Paint Beast build. You can't go wrong. You get Hall of Fame finishing, Hall of Fame defending. Like, you can't go wrong, man. 23 defensive badges, 21 finishing badges. Max defense, basically max, fin max finishing. Hopefully, you know, y'all make this one, and this one blows up. Rather than the other one, because the other one was a prelude build, and I believe this one's better. So, yeah, I'm going to show y'all the badges. And what to run on this build all right man so for the finishing obviously go contact uh we want to go consistent uh we can do lob city uh fancy go slithery and then go relentless uh yeah i think that looks good it's a lot of badges a lot of badges man tons of badges slippery off ball overshooting for the playmaking you can throw a downhill if you would like I was mostly thinking break starter, quick first step, and maybe like down here bronze or bell out bronze. It's really up to you. Um, if I would have got the 10 that they, you know, I could have got, I guess, if I would have maxed out my playmaking, probably would have ran downhill gold, break starter gold, quick first step gold, and then bell out bronze. But um, I don't think I'm really going to use bell out because I'm not shooting the ball. And if I pump fake, all I got to do is pass, so that's not even a bell out. So I think I'll just put it on downhill so I can, you know, zoom down the court. For the defensive badges, I was gonna go brick wall, box. Uh, uh, that's another thing. So like pogo stick, I told y'all to put on pogo stick in my prelude build. Didn't know how pogo stick was gonna work. Pogo stick is trash this year. So we don't even wanna throw on pogo stick. I've seen my centers use pogo stick. It's pointless. So yeah, we wanna go rim protector hall of fame, rebound chaser hall of fame. We want to throw on some clamps so when we switch, we want to throw an interceptor and then we want to throw an intimidator. I mean, I, yeah, that's good. I mean, I heard hard crusher was good. You can throw in pickpocket if you would like because you do have a pretty high steal for a center, so it's up to y'all. But I think clamps is important because you know you switch with the guard, uh, you can you know actually guard the guard because you have good defense and stuff, and you know, just for centers, you know, force pickups and stuff like that. I think clamps is good so yeah those are the badges i would run i'll show y'all one more time if i'm going too fast just pause the video man but yeah those, those are the badges i would run i think this is the best center build honestly i'm literally about to make this build i'm about to press continue and do start my career because i'm going to probably make a center build uh if I keep stacking up my VC the way I am, no VC glitches or anything like that, all legit, man. So, 
Yeah, because I know VC carries over and I don't want to use all of it and have to buy some more VC because I've already bought some VC. So, yeah, man, that's really it for the video. Make sure I like the video. Make sure I subscribe, share the video, all that, man. If you made it this far, I know you've seen a lot of ads and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Keep watching them ads for me, man. I'm new to this. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's the best strategy for throwing ads in my video. Uh, so just bear with me. It's a, it's a learning process, a learning curve. I'm down to learn. So, yeah, man, I appreciate your love support, and I'm out.